Oh, there's some moomoos. A minute ago, when I first came to the gate, they were jumping and dancing and frolicking like little baby calves. And they are, they're just, it's grown up a little bit. They're probably born in the winter. And a minute ago, they were like skipping and um, running about all happy in that. And then they've stopped and they've, they're very interested in me while I've been changing the memory card. They're all going off now, bored now, look. They were all up against here in the shade a second ago. There's some really, like, mothers. That's all the mothers under the tree there. And they probably still feed off their mum. But uh, they were frisky. They were they were running about. They were they were jumping. I wouldn't go in there with them because they'd probably follow me and run me over or something. But um, yeah, it's lovely for them, isn't it? Lovely day. Bye bye then. Bye, mummers. Bye bye. I've just had a, some dogs barking at me. That was on the previous video. There's one of one of the dogs there. I can't, I can't remember what sort it is. I've known him since he was young. He still barks. There were two like that. And they're, they're not rock violets. They're not um, Dobermans, but there's something similar. More like Doberman than the other type. But it's not a Doberman. It's more like a, some sort of hound. Um, oh, I don't really know what it is, really. But, you know, they've always done that run up and down the fence. I mean, they do look quite ferocious. And two little tiny dogs joining in. Little tiny furry things. Anyway, there's my my cows. I've been in a field with cows, but they're right at the top. And they were older, I think. So I decided to put another memory card in, to be quite honest. Um, this quite otherwise, what happens usually at the end of the walks, always get neglected. Because I run out of uh, either battery. And this even this battery thing has worked had to work very hard ages ago. Um, I've never really used it all, but I do longer videos now. I do a lot more than I used to. Um, the quality's better. Well, I think it, this is probably jumpy. I don't, I don't know. But it's giving you more of an idea of where I've walked today. That's if you ever get to see these videos. It takes me a long time editing them, putting the pictures with them, putting the description and all that. It takes me a while and I've got a backlog at the moment. They'll all get put on disc pretty quick though, for saved. And then um, they should go on YouTube. I put them in places like that for storage. <sighs> and of course disc, and sometimes card. But I don't tend to do the regular ones on memory card, because it's expensive, and not only that, I do this walk so often. Although, for storage reasons, it would be much easier just to have a little box with a f memory cards in and then big boxes with loads of discs in. So we go down this long, long lane. We leave that lovely house back there. Beautiful location. Beautiful gardens. That used to be a footpath. I've, I think I've been over there. But this is real cow land. You've got to be so careful here. These are where the cows hang out. So I don't bother. That's probably why it's grown over. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, rambling on, I expect, like I usually do. Anyway, we go down here and then we come to all the orchards, all the little trees. That would we'll be bringing, probably growing apples for the cider companies around here. I mean, I know um, over San, Sanford, Thatchers dominate that village. They own it. They own the village. You can tell. And um, they grow their own apples anyway. But I expect people like this here also provide apples. It's a bit of cider country, isn't it? Drink up your cider, 
Drink up your cider, for tonight we'll merry be. We'll knock the milk churns over and roll them in the clover, and the corn's half cut and so be we. Drink up your cider, drink up your cider, for tonight we'll merry be. <laughs> Just a snippet. I remember all those. Like, when I were a lad, I were so glad to go out in the haytime with a fork and a bottle and a cork, make out in the haytime. What tossing hay upon the man met young Lucy Bailey. I said, my dear, are you often here? She said, yes, sir, twice daily. Da, 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 da. Oh, my dear, I do feel queer, think I ought to tell ye. Ain't you bread, she sadly said, a swelling up me belly. Off she go to Dr. Joe, off she go quite gaily. He gave her a dollop of gr big jollop and said, take this twice daily. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Hold on, something coming. Let me get out of the way. And the big... So I do... Occasionally do a little song. It seems appropriate to sing a few cider songs by the Wurzels um, while I'm going in cider country. All through there I can see rows and rows of little apple trees and bigger ones. And they get bigger each year and they've got these ones here all in blossom. You can't really see, but in through there there's rows and rows and rows of apple trees and we'll see them we'll be a lot closer to them in a minute once we get round this corner down here like I said this is a beautiful walk I've been doing it for years I've I tend to come down it more than go up it um, that's why I don't always do reverse because the reverse journey from Western as far as I'm concerned is all uphill um, you haven't got that on on the way on the way here. You have got some hills, but not like you have. We're going down into the valley now, near the River Axe area, and uh, it's a lovely late afternoon now. Um, it is certainly going to be a big day thing. I mean, I might have to walk all the way home yet if there's no buses. If by the time I get to Western Hospital there's no buses, because I know there won't be one at Uphill, so I, I certainly ain't going that way, because I know there won't be any. I think the last bus is about up past five. I don't think there's many buses that even leave the hospital after six o'clock. Um, there is the number 20, but I don't know if that actually goes inside the hospital or not anymore. don't really know. Anyway, there's the rows and rows and rows of cider apples all down through there in those fields. And just spring in a minute and we can see them. Rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and fields and fields. Orchards that they've been growing and developing. I've seen some of these when they were little tiny saplings and they were nurtured by the farmer who tenderly came out and sprayed them, gave them fluids, food. See, look in there. See? Absolute rows of them. Yeah, I remember when all these were first planted. This particular lot. And they probably have machines that pick them now as well, the apples. I've got a big DL van coming by. I've got to try and get out of the way. Is he still coming? Right. 
Let's try and get up here out the way so we can get by. Set. There you go. So I've just come down from up there. I've come, there's a gate there, it's shut now, but I actually got out of that gate once. But I was always worried that it might be dogs loose. So I tend to keep off private land if I can. Because of that, because a dog will protect their property. They will protect it, and so if they bite you, really, you shouldn't be on there. But you, they shouldn't bite you either, but they will. Dogs are very, very protective. And I wouldn't blame a dog, but I don't want to be savaged. So I am a bit careful when I'm out. And I got to do. I don't mind doing country lanes either. Believe it or not, Let's just stand up here a minute and just have a look. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Over and out for a minute.